Samuel? Are you there? Please, say something. You wouldn't just disappear anymore. I've been looking all over for you. Ow! What, what's wrong with you? I don't know who you are. I don't know my own husband. You disappear every night. You only talk when it's absolutely necessary. Where is the man that I married, Samuel? I want my husband back! <gasps> What have I done? What? What? What the hell have I done? Oh no! I, I didn't want this! No! 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 Get on with it! Stick the damn fuse back in! I want to open the store! A light shaft with a grill leads up to the backyard. The hinges on the basement grill are rusted. No idea if you could open it, and even if you could, it'd squeak like hell. Let's see, a few plastic containers, bottles, and boxes, light bulbs, cables, grease, uh-huh, and a small carton of fuses. The box says ceramic fuses. The box says ceramic... Hopefully the fuses work. You never know in this place. My SLR camera, fitted with a flash, too. I never leave home without it. Hmm. There's just one fuse left in the box. But at least it looks unused. I reckon it's still out of work. The fuse! The fuse, man! Open your eyes! Well, an old dust encrusted fuse box. Okay, then. Just like everything else of Fuller's, pretty well junk. That's the main switch. It won't do anything until I put a new fuse in there. I think I can swap a fuse over without needing instructions. The blown fuse must be under here. Huh, Fuller's already had a go at it, but again, he couldn't sort it out. The three other fuses look fine, but this one's had it. I should throw that away. Otherwise, I'll get mixed up. Ah, 
That's that. Now all we need is some power. Okay, so let's have a look. <sighs> Let there be light. Don't need this anymore. So let's go up. A wonderful working day awaits, full of appreciation and deep personal fulfillment. Ugh. Finally! You make a big deal about going to college, but you're too sappy to replace a fuse. Put that board outside in front of the store. Get on with it! The store isn't doing very well. I don't... but what the hell. Someone's really told you. Huh? You've put it the wrong way around. Uh, yeah. Just the right place. Black and white photography is my specialty. Wonderful. So let's get started. My name is Angelina. Oh, well, I'm Darren. Let's go inside. Pick up the post and take this letter to Mrs. Biba in the diner in the main square. I've got things to do. Son of a... Back there is where the harbor ends and the natural shoreline begins. Just smile. That's the entrance to the police station. I never feel too good in the face of the state authorities. What if Europeans in particular confuse New England with California and think they should be driving around in convertibles or Mustangs? Yeah, 
just down the street. Thanks a lot. Some people. Most of the year, an open top car is a bad idea around here. With that kind of weather, Biddeford should make the raincoat a national uniform. Okay? No, it's not actually. Um... Carrie died here two years ago. She was my best friend. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, how did it happen? You're not from around here. No, uh, I'm from Boston. I'm spending the semester break at uh, my mother's. Yes. Well, Carrie committed suicide. No one knows why. Everyone loved her. She was intelligent and always happy. I think there's still a picture of her in old Fuller's display window. A young woman with dark hair and green eyes. Yes, I know that picture. A really pretty woman. She had so many plans. After studying, she wanted to open a kindergarten here in Bidford with her husband, Jason. I just don't understand it. From one day to the next, she changed completely. She became really reclusive. She was depressed and melancholic all the time. No one could reach her anymore. Not even Jason. Even though they loved each other more than anything. But then one day, she just threw herself into the sea. And no one knows why? No one. Jason has never gotten over it. He couldn't help her. A few months later, he married that brainless bimbo with a convertible. He probably just felt so lonely. It's definitely got nothing to do with love. <laughs> he must have been really lonely. Excuse me. I'd rather be alone right now. Uh, of course. Uh, I'm sorry. Pretty senseless driving around Maine in a convertible. But I reckon that's not what it's really about. It was expensive, and that's what counts. Pretty senseless driving around Maine in a convertible. But I reckon that's not what it's really about. I don't want to bother her anymore. Most of the pictures here in the window weren't taken by Fuller. In some moment of blinding inspiration, he must have decided to get some proper photographers to promote his business. Of course, they have no idea just how lucky they've been. Portraits, group pictures, wedding photography, and landscapes. And all of them totally unimaginative. Just as things should be. Ah, yes and the picture of Carrie. She really was pretty, but it's kind of spooky somehow, being smiled at by a dead person.
And then I said to him, Jason, I need a new car, urgently. Oh yeah, and then? What can I say? It's parked right outside. Um, excuse me? Have you got something wrong with your ears? No, I just wanted a package. Hmm. Something wrong with your eyes then? Huh? Listen, I'm talking here. Can't you see that? Yeah, I can see you as clear as day, unfortunately. But I have to collect a package for Fuller at the photo store. There'll be no line jumping in this store. You're online, okay? Now wait until I'm ready. Ugh, the young kids today. Always. I'm always having a fight with them. Bad parent. That car belongs to the world record talking lady from the shop. Hmm, that could be useful. all the chat. She didn't hear that. Where is it then? It's parked someone. right outside the... That car belongs to the world... Hello, is it something like my turn now? Please, don't let me rush you. <sighs> oh, what do you want? I'm supposed to collect something for Fuller. From the photo studio? Collection note? <laughs> this is the one, right here. Have you still got another note? There's another package for Fuller here. Afraid not. Can I take it anyway? Hmm. I might turn a blind eye for nice customers. So you're not gonna give it to me then? Hell no! Coffee mugs, little lighthouses, badges, mini. What more could the tourist heart yearn for? <laughs> There's a few papers here, some sort of forms, and a pad of blank collection notes. I would imagine that the enchanting Rosie might possibly have some objection to my palming a blank collection note. Hey, Rosie. Hard at work, I see. What do you want? There's a really pretty young lady I've seen walking around here. Uh, do you know her? Mmm, you had a real good look at her, didn't you? Do you know her? Well, I wouldn't say no. She came in here and asked about a photo studio, so I sent her up to Fuller's. She interrupted a conversation I was having with a friend. Can you believe that? Ha! <laughs> no way! I don't believe it. Is there maybe a package for me there, uh, Darren Michaels? Mm-hmm. The lovely Rosie nope, hasn't noticed, there. and I'm now the proud owner of a blank collection note. That's Mrs. Biber, I think. As far as I can understand it, she runs this place with a husband.
Um, excuse me. What can I get you, my boy? Actually, I'm, I'm here to give you something. It's... It's from Fuller in the photo store. Psst. Hey, come over here. I can guess what this is about. The dirty old swine. I should have known. Vermin ain't so easy to get rid of. Tell him I... Ugh. Uh, you better tell him yourself, uh, whatever it is you... Uh... Claire! You gonna talk all day? The customers are waiting! Get out of here, and tell your boss he can go to hell. Jeez. What the hell was that all about then? Huh. You sure didn't seem to be a fan of Fuller's. I got that much. And the guy in the kitchen, he sure wasn't supposed to see that she had mail. Hello? Young man! You're Darren Michaels, aren't you? Yes, and you are? Oh, excuse me. My name is Newhouse. I'm a doctor at the health center. <laughs> at the health center? You mean at the hospital out there? Well, yes. We call it the Biddeford Health Center. We, we aren't just a hospital. We have yoga courses and cookery courses and... And what do you want from me? I... Yes, I... I know your mother, Darren. We had a date here this morning, to be more precise. Me and her. We wanted to hang up some pictures your mother painted in the health center. Yes. And? She... She's not there. She's normally always... She's always punctual, isn't she? This kind of thing never happens. Look, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'll give her a call, okay? As soon as I'm back in the store. It, maybe she's forgotten about your little meeting, Doc. If you say so, but actually... I gotta go. I'll call Mom later and tell her that you're waiting for her in... in the health center. Goodbye. Go <laughs> Goodbye. He's sick. That disgusting pig. What's going on? Your lovely boss. Does he always try to grope his customers? Uh, no, only the women. That's not funny. Uh, no, of course not. What can I say? Fuller's an asshole. Well, he's never going to see me again. Darren, would you bring the photos to the hotel for me? Uh, of course. My pleasure. Thanks, Darren. That's really nice of you. I'm staying at the Wild Coast, room number five. No problem. <laughs> You'll have them this afternoon. Thanks, my hero. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> That's the guy from the diner. Is he following Angelina? Hey! You're gonna gawk her ass right off. Whatever the bitch said, it's all a dirty pack of lies. Sure. Back to work! Hey! You got the package? Yep. Well then, give it to me. How'd the photo shoot go? Ah, uh, shut up. I only mean the young lady who... That alley cat's gone, okay? No little goodbye kissy for little Darren. So now, get to work. The shelves here could use with the dusting and the gutters leaky. And you still gotta take my mama's dogs for a walk. Go back to the post office again and ask if the new photo paper's already arrived. The mailman still hasn't brought a collection note. And the store could also do with a good sweeping. He's cranky. I guess Angelina did a number on his ego. 
Nice job. Okay then. But before I start with all that stuff, I'd better give Mom a quick call and remind her she was going to take the pictures to the hospital. And somehow I've got to get a hold of the film so I can make some prints of Angelina's pictures without Fuller catching me doing it. Postcards off. <laughs> huh. Seems like she's on the phone. Clock? I'm gonna take it out of your. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I just wanted to call my mother, but it was busy. It's not gonna make you go bust. <laughs> that broad spends the whole day on the phone, right? She already called up once while I was shooting that. Some drivel about Adrian in a mirror. I hung up. I got better things to do than listen to that kind of crap. My mother called, and you didn't tell me. The old lady's not all there in the head anymore. Where are you going? You're not on your own time yet. Mom? Mom! Mom! Okay, think, Darren. I need an ambulance. Emergency? Yes. My name is Darren Michaels. I, I, I've just found my mother. She's unconscious. Take it to the hospital, but take it real easy. I'll be following in my car in a minute. How does it look? Difficult to say, Darren. She must have stumbled. And now she's got a serious head injury. Exactly how bad it is, we can only find that out in the hospital. But, but how can she fall so badly that she... It's not the time for that now. W was your mother taking any kind of medication? Uh, I, I don't know. She always has a load of painkillers for her back. It, it, no idea. Please, collect anything that looks like medication and bring it back to me in the hospital. What about allergies? Um, not that I know about. <laughs> That's not good enough for me. Could you find out the family doctor's number? Perhaps get a hold of her medical records? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll go look. I'll see you in the hospital. Very good. Oh, yeah. And we need your mother's insurance card. That too? Uh, okay, please, can you hurry? Oh man, medication, insurance card, med history. I better hurry. Mom's handbag. All her papers must be in there. All right, I found the insurance card. It looks like Mom was having a cup of tea while reading, before she fell over. The cup is still half full. Why did she stand up and go over there? Maybe the phone rang? Maybe she got some bad news and, and fainted. Huh. That doesn't seem like her at all. That's Mom's medicine dispenser. There's a box for every day of the week. She always used to joke about it. She said that because of her back, she consumed more pills a day than a whole old folks home. But she never took as much as she was actually prescribed. She always maintained that she'd just forgotten to. The old home doctor then gave her the dispenser at some point. 
I always found it rather stupid not to take your medicine, preferring to suffer in agony. That's gotta be most of the medication, but maybe she's got more somewhere else. I should check. Mom's bathroom. Like her old place, nothing special. We weren't poor, but my mother was always modest. And by the looks of it, so is this place. Aha, some medicines. Boxes, little bottles, tubes. I'll take it all with me. I think that's it. I found all the medication. An old lighthouse. Underneath's a sign with Willow Creek written on it. Perhaps it's from the place in England where she lived. She first came to the US in her early 30s, after the accident. My mother's old bureau. That's where she keeps her letters and financial papers and such. I don't fancy poking around in there just now. I think the furniture's still from her time in England. Quite old-fashioned, but stylish somehow. What do we got here? Handkerchiefs, a glasses case, an art magazine, a few Valerian draggies. Hmm, nothing I could use. Ah, my mother's address book. I ought to find her doctor's number in there. A plant on the windowsill. No idea what kind it is. Looks like there's something under the flower pot. It's a little... Yes, and that's got the address book open. Now then, what was that doctor called? Dr. Wakefield, that's him. Here's his number. I just hope he's still got my mother's old medical records. Hopefully the number's still okay. Dr. Wakefield, 555. Dr. Wakefield's practice? My name's Darren Michaels. I, I have to speak to the doctor. It's an emergency. One moment, please. Dr. Wakefield speaking. Uh, hello, Dr. Wakefield. This is Darren Michaels. Darren? Is there something wrong with your mother? Mandy said... Yes, she's been taken to the hospital. She's fallen over and, and taken a knock to the head. She's not responsive. My God. The hospital needs her medical history. Do you still have it? Yes. Yes, we must still have it here. C can you fax it over to the hospital? Yes, of course. Hopefully nothing's happened to her back. Wouldn't the support corset protect her? Not necessarily. The corset supports her spine when she's standing up or sitting, but her back has been so badly affected since the accident that a fall can have repercussions. I don't think I want to know. I'll just go down to the hospital and find out there. Do that. I'll have the records sent to Biddeford. I hope your mother gets well soon. 
Yeah, me too. Give her my best wishes, as soon as she's awake. I'll do that. See you later, Doc. Well, that's done. Dr. Wakefield has always cared well for Mom. With that back of hers, she could barely stand, sit, or lie down without causing her pain. And then she has the burns as well. And now this. I'll just get dressed and then go straight to the hospital. I hope she's all right. Hello, uh, I'd like to see my mom, Rebecca Michaels. Uh, one moment. Your mother is still being examined. Have you got the medication with you? Yes, here. Oh, and I've also got the insurance stuff. When can I... Ah, thank you, thank you. I will tell Dr. Newhouse. Please take a seat for a moment. I will let you know when you can go in and see your mother. Excuse me, Mr. Michaels? Uh, yes? There is a problem with your mother's insurance card. It, it looks like she didn't make the last payment. Uh, I don't know anything about that, and I really don't give a damn. Obviously, it's, it's a little unpleasant, but the insurance... Look, I don't give a damn about the insurance. What's happening with my mom? How long is this thing going to take? I'm sure you'll be able to see her soon. But if we can't clear up this thing with the insurance, then we've got a problem here. You'll have to... Okay, doctor. You can see your mother now. The room at the end on the right. Mr. Michaels? I can't help it if your mother hasn't paid, or, or if the bank hasn't made the transfer, or, or if the medical insurance won't cover the treatment. Here, take the card with you and sort it out. In the end, your mother will be back on her feet, but she won't have a roof over her head anymore. Thanks. How is she? Not good, I'm afraid. The wounds to her head are quite severe. She must have fallen against the table with all her weight behind her. I is she going to... One should never give up hope. But your mother's in a coma, Daryl. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's rather... rather uncommon for someone to wake from a deep coma. Perhaps if, if she'd been discovered earlier, and there wouldn't have been so much bleeding in her skull. You're saying that if I'd gone to her straight after our talk, then, then she wouldn't be here now, lying in a coma? But my boy, you couldn't possibly have known. Yeah, yeah, how could I have known? Fuller. Uh, sorry? Fuller! She, she phoned the photo store. She, she wanted to speak to me, and Fuller just hung up on her. Wait, no, that's completely... She was conscious and wanted help, but Fuller... <sighs> Darren, get a grip. It was an accident. 
No one's to blame, and you should just... Just... just what? Simply sit here at the bedside and hope that she gets better? I... I... I can't barely believe that. Darren! You must... Thanks for your help. I... We'll look after your mother round the clock, Darren. You're welcome to stay here. I'll pop in again later. I'm not gonna stay here. I still have things to sort out. That fat bastard's gonna pay for this. There's a stethoscope. Presumably someone from the clinic forgot it when washing their hands. Doc Newhouse has definitely still got his. I'll take it with me. They ought to be able to rustle up another one here. Typical hospital chic. Hmm. There's a little medicine bottle lying here. Perhaps it belonged to the patient who was here before my mother. Laxativa. A powerful laxative. Huh. Sounds useful. It seems to... She looks... She looks so weak. My mom always had a fighting spirit. And all this just because she tripped. Probably rushing around again. Doing someone or other a favor. And then... That stupid cupboard. Oh, I could. I. And Fuller. If he even. Oh, I'm gonna squeeze him dry for this. Amira! Don't go through the mirror. Mom? Mom! Are you awake? Did I just imagine that? No, I couldn't have. My wrist still hurts. She must have been terribly afraid of something. But, but what does she mean? It seems to... She looks... She looks so weak. And all this and fuller. It seems to... And all this just... And fuller. If he... No, no, I can't tell you that. You can talk to her son, if you like. He's just... There he is. Hey! Hey! You! What the hell? A nurse. And perhaps an administrator as well. They could well be one and the same nowadays. The way things look... It seems that healing the patients is a kind of secondary activity. Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? What do you think? You reckon my mom's gonna be okay? Oh, you... You never can know. But for sure, there are people who come out of comas after much worse accidents than your mother's. And folks who die from much less serious accidents. You mustn't give up hope. Pray for your mother. Statistically speaking, that has no effect whatsoever. I'll save my time. What did that guy want? He was asking about your mother. What did he want to know? He wanted to know if... Uh, if... If she made it? Uh, yes. But I told him we're not allowed to give out patient information. He ought to speak to you. I don't know the guy, but he's gone out of his way to avoid me twice already. You know who he is? I'm sorry, no. But, he's got an accent. I think... I think he's British. But with something else, too. Listen, I don't want that guy anywhere near my mother. You understand? Of course. This Dr. Newhouse, what's he like? Oh, he's very charming. A really nice guy. He isn't from around here. He came to Biddeford a couple of years back. But 
He's really settled and got on well, and... Yeah, yeah, nice story. I wanted to know if he was a competent doctor. Oh, oh yes, of course. He used to run a huge hospital in Atlanta. He's apparently rather overqualified to be working in a little place like Biddeford. But I think he enjoys the small town life. Your mother is in good hands. Are you from around here? You could say that. I grew up here. Then you surely must be able to tell me some exciting stories about the place. Ah, well, not really all that much happens here. You know, a young woman killed herself a couple of years back. She jumped into the ocean, and they had to call in extra divers to help search for her. They didn't save her, though. They never even found the body. But apart from that, there's never really much happening here. You mean Carrie? D did you know her? Yes, we used to go to aerobics together. Any idea why she killed herself? We'd all like to know the answer to that one. She was always so happy. We used to have lots of laughs together. But then, she changed. She also stopped coming to the sports events and I lost touch with her. I had no idea she was having such a hard time with herself. Thanks for the info. About all this insurance garbage. Best to have a look through your mother's bank transfers. If she's transferred the money, then it's up to the bank and the insurance company to slug it out between themselves. You can simply drop it by with the certificate if you like. Then I'll see to it. Mm-hmm. Thanks. About all this insurance garbage. Best to have a look. You can simply mm -hmm. drop. Thanks very much for the information. No problem. No choice. I can't believe I've got to scrabble around in my mother's private things so the damn insurance company doesn't let her die. I mean, what are they gonna do if I can't find any proof that my mother transferred that money? Throw her out of the door in her bed? All right, come on, Darren.
Huh. Ah, there's Mum's transfer book. That's what I was looking for. I'll take both. Pencils. Run-of-the-mill pencils. Uh, I don't know about all this kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Huh. I reckon that these are my mom's account transactions. This is the rent, and here's 18 bucks, 45 to the phone company. Aha, and here's the transfer to the insurance company. That's from last month, so she has paid. Those guys need to kick up the butt. What's this? A letter? Dear Rebecca, I have received your letter and am pleased that you're well. Of course, I will furthermore send you the full amount. Your suggestion is well intended and I wouldn't have expected anything else from you. But there's absolutely no question about your receiving any less, even if he has now left home. You have done a wonderful job and it's now time that you did something for yourself. Enjoy your life in Maine. With love, C. Strange. The full amount. Even if he's out of the house now? What's that all about? Here's my mom receiving a fat payment from... A $1,500 transfer from a bank in England. BCW Bank. Willow Creek Branch. Willow Creek? That name's familiar. Mom used to live in England, but was it in this uh, Willow Creek? And who is this C character? And why is he sending her money? Here it is again. And there! She seems to get the same amount every month. Seems to be practically her only source of income. I don't get it. She always told me she got a monthly injury compensation payment from insurance of the guy who caused the crash, which also killed my father. I definitely wasn't supposed to see that. Suppose it didn't really matter to me either. It's just that... It's just not like my mother to keep secrets from me. I... I'll ask her why she's... 
lied to me as, as soon as she gets better. Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? I have my mother's bank transfers here. She's already paid for the damn insurance. I was thinking the same thing myself. You know, the insurance company has made a boo-boo. Can I have them? Don't worry, I'll get on it. So that will be the end of it then? Yes, I'll clear it all up with them. Good. <laughs> 